Alright, welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Um, in the last episode, we pretty much went through the intro and like the Scarlet, like, what would they call it? The Scarlet Moon or whatever from like seven years ago when Velvet and Luffy were kids. And we saw Arthur pretty much, I guess, sacrifice uh, Celica. But for some reason, it doesn't seem like they have like a full memory of it. But it seems like Lafayette set is sick in the current day. But little dude and scampered off somewhere without telling us. So let's see. gotta go find him. Yeah. All right, not right here. So I guess we're gonna go check in the village and see what's up. Buddy, where are you at? Hey, has Luffy set been here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Luffy set made. A smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but... Not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet! I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Okay, well, now we're on the hunt for Luffy set. Wouldn't save real quick. Because why not save when you have the chance? 48 minutes of playtime already? He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. It's quick. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques, and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely. Blingy. There's no other way to describe that. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. It's totally not foreshadowing something terrible that's going to happen here soon. Hey Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night! I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. 
You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. Well, damn. But yeah, just standing here looking at this and the trees, like the autumn look, it looks so good. It's like my favorite time of the year because I love how the trees always look like this, like fall pretty much. Then you got some green trees still. Alright, and it looks like we're going to where Selica died. Prickle boy here, I don't think he wants to smoke. Damn it, I didn't get to read. Fluffy! Velvet, can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Okay. Remember how we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you, too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in. And it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure. And wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Right, uh, uh, shit. Where'd you come from? Fucking prickle boards came out of nowhere, bro. I was not ready for that. It kind of scared me. I could have been playing like Fast and Phobia for all I knew. Holy fuck. It just come out of nowhere. Uh oh. I'm gonna run over here and do the little skit. How about I make you some apple boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo! Hm. That was a cute little side story. 
and to avoid these freaking prickle boar. As long as I ain't gonna fight him. It looks real pretty here. Uh, just look at all these. This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey Velvet, thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Oh. A demon! Oh, hey, shit. Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Demon here! I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way! Or that thing will kill you too! But please! Go! Well, <laughs> God damn, bro. I ain't doing no damage to it. I get home. Velvet! Fluffy! You're all right. Ugh. Sorry. It's all my fault. No. If you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Scarlet Knight? What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! Uh -oh. Where are you? Uh, 
shit. Yeah, them growls they have are fucking terrifying. What on earth is going on? This is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. Man, dude. That's where something oh. I would be terrified of. Village. Is like a fucking like a big predator or whatever, like a bear or something. Break into my house and I'd have like nowhere to go. I I've had nightmares about that. It's so it's so random. But damn. Stuff like that would creep me out, especially when I hear them growls when it's werewolf looking things. It's fuck that. Don't give up. Never give up. Damn, you motherfuckers are everywhere. Get out of the way, bro. I ain't got time for all this. Uh oh. Ooh. Don't make me break your ankles, boy. I hit that circle button spin move on you. Eat. Yeah, dude. They all just replace the fucking prickle boards. Get you baited. Ah, Arthur. Damn. Velvet. You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Luffy safe, didn't you, Arthur? One more sentiment to cast off. Velvet, run! Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lachisette's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? Let him go. This is an offering to the world. Why would you? Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you have not changed. Ever a slave to emotion.
Damn. That had hurt. I love this anime cutscene. Feeds on demons. Arthur. Atherian. Arthur! Oh shit. Oh my god. Why did you kill him? Get fucked. Hey, fuck. Holy shit. This this fucking demon claw is awesome. Oh my god. I forgot how fun it was to play with this. Holy shit. Take a look around. Lucy. Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. serious scene I'm over here hyped up about using her claw to fight I will I will make you pay well we leveled up um, that was wild. The battle difficulty on lower battle difficulties, enemies attack less frequently and with less force, making them easier to defeat. But higher difficulties offer benefits such as improved item drops some enemies. Also, some effects of uh potent potent potentite whatever only activate on certain difficulty levels. You can change battle difficulty at any time by choosing options from the system menu. Okay, let's get to now. So did my world come to an end? And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance.
is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Okay. Using L1 plus the left analog stick will allow slip him to the target. Okay. If you tilt the left analog stick while defending with L1, you will form a quick step. Quick stepping extends a small amount of SG to dash in the direction pressed on the left analog stick. It can even be performed during a combat. If you perform a quick step just for an enemy attacks, the attacks will only do one damage, and you will recover some SG. Additionally, a soul may also appear. Collect to gain one soul. Here I come. Okay, this you are not. I will kill you. Ready yourself. Yeah, fuck you, huh? Okay, Alright. Got your son once. Oh, that she's not really attacking that much. No, no, no. Oh, damn. She hits hard. Woo. Oh no, move, velvet shit! Okay, that was already too close. This is only normal difficulty. Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people and a sword against demons, Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafisat. Indeed, but his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place and I'll explain. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. Shattered your yoke. We must hurry. Okay, then I almost died, but it is what it is. <laughs> so, damn. My plan is to, uh, like, if y'all want it, or if I feel like the game is too easy, to boost the difficulty up. But, I don't know, we'll just have to see where it goes after that, unless y'all really just want it on a higher difficulty. But, let's see, stats. Attack. Effects, hidden, martial art damage, burn attack, effects, hidden, under non martial art damage, defense. Reduces damage from hidden and martial arts. Art defense. Reduces damage from hidden and other non martial arts. Focus. Effects, SG. Re regeneration rate and chances of inflicting status effects. Martial arts, swift kicks, hidden arts, vicious stabbing attacks. 
attributes and Belbus. Quick martial arts to train into hidden arts is a dependable tactic, but the elemental attributes on her arts also make them well suited for opening combos. Okay. Take it now, we're in a new dungeon. Velvet kinda needing some new clothes after three years. You can definitely tell. Uh, she's not 16 no more. But I think I'm gonna end the video right there. And hopefully, if you made it to the end, you'll leave a like, comment down below if you enjoyed the video or not, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, really, a question I have. Um, Yeah, you know, I was trying to make a question of the day, pretty much. But I honestly don't have one. Besides just asking what your favorite Tales game is again. But hopefully in the next video I'll have an actual different question. Um, or really actually, how about this? What's your favorite JRPG video game ever? How about that? And maybe I could look at them for a potential Let's Play in the future. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in episode 3. Alright, thanks, and see you.